I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 here. I'm going to show you how to use the Samsung DeX on your Windows, computer, PC, or laptop. First thing to note is that you must download the Samsung DeX. And you get it off the Samsung.com. I'll go ahead and put a link below in the description where you can go ahead and download it. Uh, you have one for Windows 7 and 10. And FYI, you can also download it for a, a Mac or Apple computer or MacBook. As well so once you go ahead and download and install now the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and plug in your note 20 into your computer now the thing is with the uh, note 20 you get this charging cable here it's a USB-C to USB-C the thing is on my Windows computer here I don't have a USB-C or Thunderbolt connector so I will have to use a standard USB-A to a USB type C okay so let's go ahead and plug this in to my USB port right now and of course I already downloaded and installed the Samsung DeX onto this computer so now what you got to do is go ahead and plug in your phone now the thing is even if your phone's locked it's still gonna bring up Sam Samsung DeX okay but the thing is if your phone's not unlocked you're not you're gonna have to unlock it using your password on the DeX anyways I'm already like logged in you get this message here, start casting with Samsung DeX, you can see here. Just click on start right now and give this one second. And there you go, okay? So right now, you can see this window here is a Samsung DeX. The window over here is actually my uh, Windows computer. So from here, I mean, you have icons here. If I go on the bottom left-hand side, down here, I can tap on that. You can see all the apps that I have that's actually on my phone and let me go ahead and go back here of course I can go into my gallery you can view your photos and videos here uh, you have other like work documents and whatnot we can even go into like my files you have your battery percentage here that's remaining on your phone and all the other things on here as well and you have volume everything over here so for example if I press on the volume there you're gonna see it pop up on the phone as well all right. Anyway, I think you got the message here. Everything is pretty self-explanatory. You can go ahead and maximize that. And again, you're basically having everything on your Samsung Note 20 into like a desktop mode here. All right. So it's like a real computer. Pretty simple. Any questions or issues, uh, just comment below. All right. See you in the next one.